Sup fam, it is me, Andre Taylor, and happy MLK Day. So today, we are going to react to the new Ariana Grande song, Yes And. Ariana Grande is an amazing singer, and there's been some drama that's been happening because of her. If you stay up in the interwebs because of this and that, but <laughs> I'm not a drama channel. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the vocals because Ariana got some pipes on her. I just want to see how this song is. So without further ado, yes and. Okay. Ooh, okay, house music. Everybody's getting on the house music vibe after Drake and Beyonce did it. And so what can I expect? It sounds like something that would play in the mall. interesting part because she's really going out with her vocals here. I just don't know if I like this chorus that much. Like, it just feels like it could have been so much better. Ooh, breakdown. Okay. This feels very Madonna inspired. Ooh. Okay, this is the best side. See, because she's doing so many interesting things here. That's what it is. because y'all know I'm all about being honest about my reactions when it comes to music. Let's start with a positive first. I do think that that house beat was very danceable and very fun. It got me thinking of summer. It got me thinking of bright times. It got me feeling like wanting to get up to dance. But the thing that held that back for me was Ariana, which is crazy to think because Ariana is such an amazing and powerful performer and singer that you would think she would be the best part about this song. But I would argue she might be the worst part about the song. And I'm, I, that's that's sad to say because she's she's really hidden some really great vocal melodies and she has some great harmonies in there, especially towards the end. That end part altogether. Let's talk about that. Beautiful and very well done, uh, especially because it makes you feel claustrophobic as the voice is rising but that's kind of where my praises stop because this to me is probably the worst ariana grande single to ever release and i really really love the music that she puts out she knows how to put out bangers and really great singles at that even if i haven't loved every single album i would say i love most of her albums and all of the singles that come from those albums are amazing. But this, I didn't connect with at all. I felt like the lyrics were very eh. And it felt like an attempt to be a song or TikTok to some degree. Not something with any very lasting impression. Maybe if I listen to it again, I'll like it a little bit more. And I can give y'all an update about that. But I don't know. It just wasn't really my favorite, but tell me what you think in the comments down below and tell me what your favorite Ariana Grande album and song is. And we'll be getting right back to our regular scheduled programming soon. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. Please hit that like and subscribe if you like and subscribe to the video. Thanks fam, bye.